Casey's Audio Vault. Becky Friesen from Dominica. January 20th, 2010. Yep, how's it going? Things are very well. How about you? <laughs> Pretty good. Did you have a good 2009? I imagine it was a, a good year for Dominica. Yeah, well, it definitely surpassed our expectations because uh, we released our debut. And uh, for a debut released in uh, five countries with a lot of great feedback was not expected. So 2010 is looking pretty good for us. At what point did uh, EMI get involved in this whole thing? We're on a whole bunch of different indie labels all over the world, and a few of them are EMI-based, but basically it just means that they distribute. We've built a, a pretty good team with them. Um, they've seen kind of the success we've had, so they've given us a little bit more of their team than they absolutely didn't have to, so they've been really great. Being from Winnipeg, probably should have said that right off the top, uh, but it's C12, which is a local label. Yep. Relatively new, too, isn't it? I've only seen a few releases. I saw, well, you guys did the tour with Grady and, and his release, release releases on there as well. Yeah, and uh, I think they have the upcoming Stereogram. Um, those guys are from New Zealand. They had a big hit a few years ago. And I don't know, it's kind of neat to see this uh, local label kind of developing to have these bands that I really like listening to as well. And just being a part of it, it's neat. I'm looking at the disc now. Uh, the luxury, people can buy it in stores. There's a link, uh, dominica.ca. You can buy it online. But I recognize some of these songs. How long have these songs been around? Some of these are old and some of these are new? Yeah, well, I mean, a, a lot of the press we're getting, people are, are mixing it up and they're saying, oh, well, why did it take them four or five years to record this record? And it's like, it didn't take us, we didn't record it for four or five years. It took us that long to just keep getting in the studio to put another song, another song. And we could have just released an EP or two EPs, but, you know... I mean, we've been in the band for six years. We've been touring really heavy, and, and we just want this product done and out so we can start on the next. And um, that's where we're at right now. I mean, we're ready for the studio for number two. Any high-profile studios? Was that Matt Sorum's, or what was the... Yeah, well, yeah. We, we did half of it in Winnipeg, uh, and the other half we did at Matt Sorum's studio in Hollywood, which was really cool because Steve got to play his drums, Josh got to play Slash's guitars, and there's Duff's pedals all over the floor. <laughs> you know, it was surreal. So you're playing tonight at the zoo uh, with Dreadnought Civil Disobedience? Yeah, and The Ruined. Uh, those are some of my favorite Winnipeg bands, so I'm really pumped. The Winnipeg community, it all seems like everyone's helping everyone out. So these are these are probably friends that go back pretty far. Yeah, well, I mean, Dreadnought, it's been around forever. I mean, just as long as we have, I guess, six years. or, And we've played shows with them back in, like, 2003 and 2004, and... We've toured with them. They're great guys. They are one of my favorite shows to just go and watch, to hang out with. Uh, same with Civil Disobedience. So um, we haven't played in Winnipeg in a really long time. Um, and I am really excited for tonight. It's going to be great. You're going to have to sort of keep the libations to a minimum. You're, you're driving to Minnesota tomorrow? Yeah, for an all-ages show. We have to be there at 4, which is just awful. I'm like, why did I book that again? <laughs> <laughs> it's a full day of driving after a late show at the zoo. It is, yeah, but, well, you know, got to do what you got to do. Does everyone in the band kind of share the, the driving duties? No. Well, Steve always gets in the seat, and when you're like, okay, hey, you've driven for 18 hours, now get the, you know, get out of here, he refuses. So unless he's swerving, nobody else drives. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any bad tour experiences, like either shows or on the actual road? Not really. We've been really lucky. I mean, this last tour that we did, um, you know, through Chicago and, and out to the East Coast in the States, we went through probably like four or five blizzards. This was in early December. It was pretty bad, but no accidents on our behalf. So, What's this about a Mexico trip? Yeah, well, we were giving away uh, an all-inclusive trip to Mexico, basically to celebrate the fact that our CD did way better than anticipated for a debut. Um, and we got a whole bunch of sponsors on board. Paramount Pictures um, is on board for their upcoming film, Youth and Revolt, Urban Planet, and C12, Arbor Live. Just a cool way to say thanks. Have you been to Mexico before? I have. It's the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so a Winnipeg girl is looking forward to getting some sun at the end of winter. Oh, definitely. We were talking about the show tonight with Dominica, the zoo with Dreadnought and Civil Disobedience, but you're also going to be uh, back through Winnipeg. The 31st is, is the Manitoba Music Showcase. Yeah, and that's happening at the Centennial Concert Hall. It starts at 2, free, all ages, and it's just a massive showcase of uh, musicians of all types, filmmakers, um, everything Manitoban, basically, just to you know show the people here um, what kind of great stuff is coming out. That'll be fun, playing the, the concert hall. A little different from the zoo, I'm sure the, the bar scene is, is probably what, uh, what you've been growing up on, but the Centennial Concert Hall will be really neat. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's definitely one of the bigger venues we've ever played, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to get into the first single off the luxury uh, above me. How, how was the process of, of making the video? Um, you know, I'm getting so much heat for that from some people. And, you know, it was really fun. It was a really fun video to make. What kind of heat? Well, you know, people are like, oh, she's flaunting her sexuality to get ahead. And I'm like, you know what? It's a lusty song. The video's lusty. The next single we put out is going to be angry. I'm not going to be walking around in a brawn panty saying about how angry I am. So, you know, just chill out. <laughs> it is a very sexy video. Were you getting directions? Just being like, hey, we need this sideways sexy Oh, yeah. No, and- they're just like, okay, now roll around. <laughs> There's a bed roll around on it. <laughs> And then the, uh, there's the bathtub as well. Yeah, it was a... Well, you know, the funny thing is is that our makeup artist, Amy, was there. And then, like, 30 dudes. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I'm like, are we done yet? <laughs> a little a little uncomfortable in, in that role? Well, just with the dudes maybe watching. Yeah, just, you know, I'll, I'll roll around all sexy on the bed for a while. And then there's, like, four guys right on top of me with video cameras. And I'm like, ah, oh, not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Becky, thank you so much for coming in on The Rock Report. Oh, thanks for having me out. Tomorrow you're driving to Minnesota. Tonight it's at the Zoo Dominica with uh, Dreadnought, Civil Disobedience, and the 31st Centennial Concert Hall. Thanks again. Thanks. All the interviews you want on iTunes and at Power97.com. Casey's Audio Vault. Casey Norman is Power97's music director and can be heard every weekday from 2 till 6 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Power97 is Winnipeg's best rock.